Hey guys, how are you? Andy Suku, founder and CEO of Y2K Credit Solutions. So, today I have a topic I want to talk to you guys about. And it's something I get asked about a lot, pretty much, um, re more so recently than before. And um, the topic that we're going to talk about today is, a can a credit freeze block my bad credit or hide my bad credit from creditors, right? Um, now, I did some research on this um, for you guys. And... Um, you know, I don't know if this is more of a credit repair strategy. It's not a strategy, I think, um, because some lenders may deny it, right? Um, but let's get into it. So, um, you know, someone is also asking me this. Can, you know, like, again, can a credit freeze black my, block my bad credit? And I'm always, I always ask them two questions, like, because I want to know why you're asking me this, this question, right? Well, what's your reasoning behind it? And really, there's only two reasons. If you have good credit... 700, 750, 800 credit score, there is no need for freeze on your credit report, right? Um, you know exactly who's pulling your credit at all times, you know when you're applying for things. You know you, have, you know you have an 800 or 750 score across the board. But if you're trying to apply for something and you have some, maybe a collection on one account, uh, but it's not reporting on the other account, you don't want to fix it, you may have some charge-offs on one credit bureau, but the other ones are not reporting the charge-offs, you don't want to fix those. So, you know, that might be the reason why you want to put a credit freeze. But the question is, does it work? So let's get mortgage out the way. Mortgage lenders use all three bureaus. That's a fact, right? So they're always going to pull all three bureaus. And big lender, like the big lenders, the medium-sized lenders, they all have relationships with all three bureaus. So just to make sure you know that, they all have relationships with all three bureaus. They can pull any one of the bureaus at any given time, right? Um, if Previously, if you looked at our YouTube channel, I have a video uh, breaking down how the credit bureaus uh, is separated, right? So Experian is covered more on the East Coast. Equifax is in the Midwest. TransUnion is on the West Coast. But part of the West Coast splits where Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion cover the West Coast. So some lenders pull credit and it all depends on the, the city you live in, the kind of account you're applying for, the kind of credit you're applying for. So keep that in mind, okay? So let's say you have a collection on your credit report. And, you know, the thing is you would never know what bureaus the creditors are going to pull from right but again all lenders have access to all three bureaus so the way it's set up um it'll be like a a, a toggle process let's say you're applying for a motorcycle loan right and um you know you have a collection on equifax and uh and transunion but it's not an experience so you want to put a credit freeze on experience on equifax and transunion so when the creditor pulls that credit it, the reports not going to be available to them so it's going to automatically force them to go to the next bureau. So let's say they pull TransUnion first. Credit freeze. Can't get the report. Okay, we're going to go to X X Equifax. Credit freeze. Can't get the report. Now it forces them to pull the report from Experian. Oh, you may get approved because you score 700, no collections, good history, right? Um, and that may work. Uh, I'm not saying this strategy does not work. It's definitely not a credit repair strategy. Right, so let's get that clear. I'm not. That's not what I'm saying here. Um, it just does it block your bad credit from you getting approved for for new credit, right? Um, so if you get approved, great. You got approved on Experian. However, a lot of the big creditors and medium-sized creditors, especially now in this economy with COVID and everyone's a lot of people are unemployed, uh, a lot of people are late on their bills. You have collection charge off. You know, the credit game has changed a lot within the last uh, 12 months, right? So a lender does have the right to say, uh-uh, I don't want to get the report that you want us to see. We want to see this report. And a lender can't do that 100%, right? And that could, you know, obviously they'll say, we can't access the report. You're getting denied. You're going to receive an adverse letter on uh, why you got denied. And um, then essentially that's going to turn into a hard inquiry, a wasted inquiry on your credit report. So, you know, again, this is not a credit repair strategy. You're more than welcome to try it. Uh, if you try it, if it does work, I would love to hear your comment below um, in this video. Leave a comment below. Leave a message below. I'll definitely answer it. Um, I don't think it's going to work more so now with the way the current financial economy is going. But definitely try it out. Let me know. Um, and I guess we got to, I wanted to come up with a name for this. So maybe we'll call it uh, credit roadblock. All right, let's see if it works. Um, leave a comment below and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.